Hello and welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a domain on Azure Virtual Machines. This domain name will be my dom.com. In this domain, there is one domain controller with three virtual machines, VM1, VM2, and VM3. Please note that VM1 and VM2 are Azure SQL virtual machines. This kind of VMs come with SQL Server installed in it. I have chosen this kind of VMs because I'm going to create SQL Server High Availability Group Cluster in my future series. If you are not going to create SQL Server Cluster and just create a domain, you can easily choose simple VMs. These are the steps we follow to create domain. Firstly, we create a resource group. After that, we create network and subnet in this resource group. Then we will create domain controller in the subnet and configure a domain. Finally, we create other VMs and attach them to the domain. Let's get started. Firstly, we sign in Azure portal and go to resource groups. We click on create and start creating a resource group. We select subscription and name our resource group as AG2019. We select the region and create the group. The next step is creating a network and subnet. We go to our created resource group and click create. Search for virtual network in the marketplace search box and then choose virtual network tile from Microsoft. Select create. We select our subscription and resource group names. Then we name our virtual network name as AG2019 VNet and select the region which is Japan East. Finally, we select review and create and create our virtual network where our domain will be created. In the next steps, I have created four virtual machines in the same network. You can confirm all of the configurations for each virtual machine. As you might see, I have chosen the same OS type, Windows Server 2019 Data Center for all virtual machines. In the next steps, we configure the domain as a domain con controller VM machine. For this, we connect to our DC with RTP session. By default, the server manager dashboard should be displayed. Select add roles and features link on the dashboard. Select next until you get to the server role section. Select the active directory domain services and the DNS server roles. Select Next until you reach Confirmation section. Then select and restart the destination server automatically if required checkbox. Afterwards, select Install. After installation of the features, uh, features finishes, return to Server Manager dashboard. Select the yellow warning bar and then select Promote this server to a domain controller. We select add a new forest and insert root domain name. In my case, it is mydom.com. We also insert the password in the next step for directory services restore mode. Then select next to go through other pages in the visa. It may take a while until installation finishes. Then you prompted to restart the server. Please restart accordingly. In the next step, we should set our domain controller as a DNS in our domain. So therefore, we should go to the settings of our domain controller, go to networking, and copy the uh, private IP of our domain controller. Then go to the virtual networks, go to our virtual network, go to DNS servers, Go to custom. Here we should copy and paste it. Then we should save it. After after it has been saved, we should go back to the uh, virtual machines page. Then restart all of the services. After restarting all of the virtual machines, the DNS server is configured 
in domain controller and all remaining virtual machines use the domain controller as DNS server. After configuring domain, we should attach remaining VMs to our domain. The remaining VMs are SQL VM1, SQL VM2, and Witness. So we start from SQL VM1. We go to uh, server manager and a local server and uh, click on a work group and click on change. We go to domain and type our domain name. We click on OK. Then we should put the domain user, domain uh, account user here. Uh, my account user was ARS and uh, the password I insert and OK. After that, uh, is there, we, we will get the message, welcome to the mytom.com. This means that our server has been joined to the domain. We click OK. And afterwards, uh, suddenly, that you will receive, you must restart your computer to apply these changes. You click OK and close it. And click on Restart Now. We repeat the same uh, steps for each VMs. After joining the VMs, we can see that our VM is part of the domain called mydom.com. We can check all of the VMs and confirm that all of the VMs has been joined. So we finished creating our domain with three servers and one domain controller. In the next videos, I will try to create SQL clusters in this domain. Please do not forget to subscribe and follow my next videos. Bye for now.